commercial break. You can't unmute me, Jiggy. I'm in a commercial break of the post game show. I just want to well, hear. Then him. we won't start with you. Mommy, bye. Where you going? Mr. Feinberg. Hey, Dierica, nice game tonight. Just talk how this team gelled right now and how the seems like everything is clicking for you guys. Um, I just, we're just having fun right now. You know, everybody's getting involved. Um, everybody's playing hard and we're feeding off each other. And it seems like everybody's genuinely happy for one another. So uh, building chemistry and got some momentum going into this break. Thank you. Mark Anderson, paper of record. Yeah, D'Erica, um, with Liz and, and H off, off a bench in the second quarter and you guys extended the lead, what does it say about your, your team's de uh, depth? Uh, I think we have the best team one through 12, and Bill's always done a good job of orchestrating his bench. And uh, we had a meeting not too long ago about what he how he envisioned this bench uh, with this team. And I think we kind of proved him right tonight, so I'm sure he's happy. Hello? You guys also had 10 block shots. You contested everything inside. Just how, how important was that as far as beating the offense, getting on the defensive side? Uh, I think the last few games, we've been concentrating on making sure we have good weak side help and everybody having a foot in the paint uh, and kind of forcing people to hit shots on the outside. And until then, we're going to help a lot on the inside. Paloma, do you have a question for Amaya or Erica? Hi, Amaya. I love your shoes. I'm going to have to steal some of your shoes if they're my size. My, my, you can't even see my shoes. I know, girl, but you're all over Instagram. Flexing. Yeah. <laughs> um, talk to me tonight about what it's like with dance. I can fight all the aces. Um, I can fight all the aces. How the energy in here tonight? Oh, the energy was amazing. And we're nowhere near where we uh, envisioned this place being. Uh, so, but it was nice to kind of have a feel for a normal floor. Um, I know the fans are happy. We put on a show for them tonight. So we're excited to get everybody else back in here as well. Is it nice to feel that momentum right now that you guys have? Everything's clicking. You guys look like you have a lot of energy. Are you proud of, of the fire you guys are bringing each day? Oh, for sure. I mean, that's the culture that Las Vegas has built. Uh, so we play like that every night. It doesn't matter who we play. Uh, we're going to be, we're going to be just fine. Cole? Hey, Dierica. Um, the team made a season high 11 three pointers tonight. Uh, did you guys have any ex extra emphasis on getting those shots up, or was that just kind of in the flow of the game and more just happened to go in tonight? I think just the flow of the game. I mean, Plum hit how many of them? Four. So having her on the floor, obviously, as a three point shooter, and Raquana hit some tonight as well. Thank you. Congrats on the win. All right, two more questions, Corey. Hey, dear, congrats on the win. So, on the 76 points, how important was it to lock down on defense early? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? The early defense that you guys uh, put together against New York, how key was that? Uh, it was very key. I mean, we know they want to play through Benajah. Uh, I mean, she still had a decent game, but kind of making things a little bit tougher for her forcing other people to make decisions. Um, so yeah, I mean, we kind of, we were had a little bit of emphasis on that three point shooting and I mean, they hit 10, but they also took 38. That's, I don't know, that's incredible actually. <laughs> well, I didn't realize they took that many. All right, Amaya, this is the last question from Josh Kim. Hey, Derica, congrats on the win. Um, I just was, was wondering, how does it feel for you personally to come off the bench and manage to keep the same energy level throughout the entire game, the one that was heightened and taking advantage of those missed shots in transition? Yeah, I mean, that's what I do. Uh, I mean, Bill came up to me in the game. It's like, your office isn't there, but I was making sure I was busting my ass on defense and running the floor and still doing those things that I can do to make the game effective. And overall, as a team win, um, I'm happy. I'm sure everyone else is happy. So, and Bill's telling me to go, so. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Come on. All guys. right, Bill Lambeer up next, followed by Chelsea Gray, unless Chelsea Gray can get in there and kick him out of his seat. Let's see what happens. This Goodbye, have fun in the locker room. Oh, Bill, let me go before you. Uh -huh. <laughs> you got what? I'm going, I'll be real quick. <laughs>
All right, Bill, if you can just answer everyone's question in your opening statement, we can get you out of here. You ready, Jiggy? Go ahead. All right. Um, I, I thought we played a, a, a solid game. Uh, we rebounded the ball very well. If we do that, we're, we're, we're really hard to beat. Uh, we took care of the basketball, another good trait for us. Um, I thought we played with good confidence. But the most important thing is we were able to get a lot of players' opportunity to play. Uh, we got into our bench, and they, and they played well, and the fans loved it. And it was so great having the fans back in the building. Uh, with, with the team that we have, that's going to push our team. They really like playing in front of the fans. They want to put on a show. And tonight, well, I thought we put on a pretty good show for them. Doug Feinberg, good to see you. Coach, it's always good to see you. If that's a solid game, what would a great game by you guys be? You know, um, don't quite know yet. We're still learning each other. I mean, it's it's – it's it's kind of scary in some ways, but at the same time, it's it's reality uh, that we're we're trying to figure out you know who's who does what, and when somebody's hot, keep riding that horse. Uh, we have a lot of offensive weapons. We know that uh, you know we scored 100 points now five times or whatever it is, and we're averaging 90. It's probably 90 points a game, uh, so we can score. Now, can we defend and take care of the basketball? If we can do all of the above, well, then yeah, I, I really like this basketball team. Thanks, coach. Paloma. Hey, Coach Kelsey, 32 points on Tuesday, 18 points tonight. What do you think about Kelsey's performance this week? I thought Kelsey played very well. Uh, tonight she missed some easy shots. Uh, she never turned down a shot. She never saw me. She jacked up a bunch of them down the stretch. But I think overall, if she's not player of the week, something's wrong. She's 25, 5 and 5. Easy, uh, two wins uh, off the bench. Uh, bench players don't get those kind of opportunities very often. So, if our PR department does their job, she should be player of the week. Stay tuned. All right, two more questions. Mark Anderson, paper of record. Yeah, Bill, you mentioned the defense, getting 10 block shots. How, how critical is that to what you want to see out of the defense? Well, I think our defense is getting better all the time. Um, you know, I didn't think we'd be as good a defensive team as we are right now. We're not the best defensive team, but we're a solid defensive team. I even got Chelsea Gray playing defense these days. I never realized how good a defender she was. Uh, and also, Ronald Williams also. I uh, didn't realize how good a defender she is. So our guards lead the attack on defense. And, you know, we hold teams down in the 70s. Uh, we're unbeatable. When you have someone like Rokana coming in in the second quarter and scoring 11 points in a minute and a half, how the kind of production when you can with West and Liz and Asia and I have to brush them back uh, in the game. Corner Williams is, is, is a three baller and a prolific scorer. She scored 50 points in a game in this league. I mean, come on. Uh, when she's hot, she's hot. Ride that horse. When she's not, play defense. Okay, then so no problem. All right, finish us off. Jose V. Coach, good wins back to back. Talk a little bit about your bench, what you're seeing there. And especially Park, I know she's got to get a little better there, but what are you seeing overall yeah. from your bench play? You know, I, I made a speech to the, the players last week that I really wanted to play our bench more. I was playing our starters too many minutes. It's for starters' responsibility, our top seven responsibility to keep the game in control and get an opportunity for me to trust our bench and play our bench more. Uh, it was a lot of fun tonight. I think everybody realized what I was talking about now. The fans love bench players. I mean, they don't get a chance to play. When they get in, they want them to be very successful. And I think Jisoo, this has been coming. She works very hard. A lot of stuff hasn't gone her way this year, but tonight was a good breakout game for her, and all of our players are really supportive of her. All right, Coach, have a great rest of the season there. Here comes Chelsea Gray. She's in a hurry, so get with it. All right, Chelsea, thank you for joining us. Let's start things off with Rafiq. Hey, Chelsea, congrats on the win. You put in some serious work for us from B-Point Lane or driving to the lane. Like, what has Coach told you about as far as your offensive development towards another 100-plus point performance as a team? Um, getting paint touches. Um, they were – we knew going in that they were going to have to double our bigs. Where were they going to come from? Um, how are they going to come? Are they going to come quick? Uh, they mix it up sometimes. But I think when we're getting stops and we're easy, they weren't able to flow and transition and get easy things, uh, we're really, really hard to guard. Mark Anderson, paper of record. Yeah, Chelsea, obviously scored 100 points. It's a big deal. But how much of that was off what you guys did on the defensive end? A, a lot. Because when we're getting stops and we're able to flow and transition, we have some running bigs that take up a lot of attention in the paint and at the elbow areas. 
And so when we're able to get stops in transition or when we're able to get stops and then play in transition, you know, it makes a lot of things very easy and we're getting paint touches and we're getting fouls called and we're kicking out for threes where everything is flowing. And down the stretch, you never know who's going to step up. And you see this kind of production from so many players tonight. How, how much do you think it might pay off down the, down the stretch and, and maybe a playoff game? We need someone to come through other than the, the main players. Um, it's super important. I know Bill mentioned about Kelsey Plummer. She's working her butt off and playing extremely well. So um, that's important. And our bench did one heck of a job. And that's what we're going to need um, down the stretch with this playoff push as well. Hello? Uh, love your glasses. Super cute. Um, I'm interested to know if you watch Patrick Mahomes with his no look passes. Are you watching film on Patrick Mahomes? Like, is that your signature? Um, I haven't watched. I haven't watched Patrick Mahomes on his no look passes. Um, do you practice that a lot during practice? The no look. Um, it was, it's kind of been something as like a gift, but I've, I practiced like the time and timing to do it. Um, you know, it's been a building process over time. Are the girls, do they just know you're there? Like they just know. Um, they yeah, they, we've gotten really familiar with each other a lot of the time. So and with conversation and playing with each other. Doug Feinberg. Hey, Chels. When you came here, is this what you were envisioning this team could look like as far as, like, the offense goes? I mean, putting up 100 points a night, it seems. Um, I think we're still – our book is still being written, you know. If you talk about limiting those possessions, then I – instead of four turnovers, I have two, right? That's two more possessions. And when you think about fixing two possessions or three possessions on offense and three possessions on defense, like, it's an even better game. Um, and so the vision – um, I guess when we know, we know. When we're holding up the trophy, I guess we'll know. We're like, oh, yeah, this is the vision. <laughs> Very true. Thanks, my friend. Thank you. All right, let's close things out with Josh Kim. Hey, Chelsea, congrats on the win. Uh, your team had plenty of energy in transition tonight, taking advantage of those missed shots and turnovers, like you mentioned. How were you guys able to come out of the gate with that level of energy, and what were some of the keys to maintaining that mindset throughout the entire game? Oh, uh, <clears throat> we wanted to execute offensively and defensively. Defensively, we wanted to uh, pack the paint and um, allow, you know, certain people to take certain shots. And you have but Nigel Lane come on screen or you want to give her a lot of attention. And so if you take that away, you know, you're giving up something else, but make it harder for, for those players to score. Then offensively, we wanted to get out and run a transition and get paint touches. Uh, we knew they were going to have to double our post players. So how to, you know, do our spacing after that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. Enjoy the two days off. We will be back you. on Sunday with practice. We'll send out updated practice media availability <coughs> schedules. And then the Aces play again on the 25th in Minnesota. Thanks, Chelsea. We will see everybody in a couple of days. And we'll see if I'm smart enough to get Kelsey Plum, the player of the week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you. You are most welcome.